Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? I'm Woki and I'm here with my brother Nux. Hello. And we're here to talk about Shiro Burger. Shiro Burger. Shiro Burger. There's currently two people in the live chat waiting for the Live from Japan Fake Grand Order uh, special stream that's coming up pretty soon. The Order Fez 2323. Featuring Kenji Akabane, uh, Satoshi Sugoroki, and Yuki uh Kuwabara. Yeah, I was about to call her Kuwabara. Kuwabara, <laughs> no, you, wrong person. No, wrong person, exactly. And yeah, this is weird. So someone brought up to it and was like, so what do you think about this? And I said, probably I'll just record a video and I'll talk to it about my brother because it's very weird. So we're going to talk about the fact that for some reason on the NA side, they're broadcasting the live stream from Japan's anniversary. It's, I don't know if it's... Yeah, no, because it is related to the fest, which is the anniversary. Yes, fest is the anniversary. And yeah, we're going to talk about that and just say right off the bat, let me just tell you, this is really weird. Yes. It's unbelievably weird. Let me tell you the reasons why. There's We mentioned this in a previous video, but I'll gladly say it again. Here's the reasons why this is weird. One, NA on their side... Uh, is very, 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 very protective about spoilers. Yeah. They really do not like that we know what's coming up, and they don't like it when we try and say, hey, this is coming up to other people. Actively hate it. If you remember the Anime Expo panel, which was our uh, um, anniversary here over here on NA, they were actively telling people, if you start sc like screaming and saying, hey, what's coming up next, we're going to stop the panel, and then you're out of here. This is a panel that ran over so much that they cut it off before we actually got the reveal that Tsukahime was coming back for the NA side. Yeah, that Tsukahime is coming to the West. That was very important, but they cut it off. They cut it off. So this is already a panel that runs long, and they were willing to go like, no, you don't understand. We're stopping the panel, and you're getting out of here if you start screaming spoilers. That's how much they don't like it that we know. And they also have tried to like hit our clairvoyance, which is what... We call it, which is our clairvoyance is EX because we know what's coming two years ahead. Yeah, and they occasionally try and hit it by releasing a banner like the most recent one with Merlin and Maeve, Maeve and Karen, where they're just like, "Here, here's our hit to your EX," and we're like, "Okay, we don't know." And to be fair, a lot of people have been like, "Okay, so yeah, obviously NeroFest is coming up," and then when NeroFest didn't show up, it's like, "Okay, well maybe they're gonna do the hunting quest." And then the hunting quest didn't show up. It's like, "Okay, well I guess maybe summer. Summer hasn't shown up. What hasn't shown up?" That has led... Speculation. Speculation. Hardcore speculation. What if this event here... The reason why we haven't gotten anything is because this is going to be related to an event that both NA and JP have at the same time. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, That's it, the thing. It, it feels like, no, that would never happen. They would never release a unit that would be two years ahead, basically. Because you have to think about it in terms of... the Obviously, the most closely related thing to this is uh, is Dokkan in Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle, where the NA side and the JP side are behind each other by like maybe nine months or so, but occasionally they do have events where two, un yeah, two units release at the same time. Here's the problem with that. Typically what happens is that JP doesn't give a shit about what's going on in NA and the new unit that they release is much better on the NA side than any other unit released <laughs> there. Yeah. So, if they were to do this, that would be the biggest logical problem here, is that there would be a lot of reasons for a unit to be good in Japan that wouldn't necessarily be good at NA over here, or the worst issue of it being is that the unit is actually too good, and now we have a unit that won't be power crept for at least two years. It's it's a dangerous balance to kind of go with. It's a bit weird, too. Mm -hmm. Considering Ain't. they used none literally none of the newer servants that they've had for the past year before mm -hmm. it's like they're showing what we've had recently like you can see morgan's there the reese is there but uh, moriarty's there but yeah. it's like no one knew like someone new would be daruga or like a prima primo yes brima that's his name yeah brima they would all it's very weird it's they're specifically making sure that it's not any units that na doesn't have yet so I don't know. I don't know what the, I, the idea from. So I know that it's going to be very hard to top last year. Because last year had the Archetype ultimate Archetype Earth, which meant Tsukihime finally coming into the game. 
which was like I think the last of the memes, wasn't it at that point? Because the longest memes had always been that Merce, um, Muramasa, Muramasa's coming, Rasputin, Rasputin, and then someone saying, "Okay, so the anniversary unit is Ark," and that <laughs> those were the three big ones that I can always think of that I've been doing for years. That whenever um, anniversary would be coming around, because like, so who do you think it's going to be? Obviously, it's going to be Muramasa, Rasputin, or Ark. And it would never be any of them. And then, the funny enough, the fourth one for me would be Bazette. But then they actually released her earlier that year, so it couldn't have been um, her because they already released her. Yeah. So it's I can't imagine in my head what would be bigger than Ark. But then they start doing this stuff, and then it makes me go, "What's so big about this specific unit that you're releasing it? That you're okay with basically letting NA know?" Because here's the thing. There's one of two things, and there's no winning in this game at all. One of two things happen. Either one, we get a unit early, which kind of sucks for us, because we have to drop everything and go like, well, fuck, no one was prepared for this. So now we have to kind of go like, I guess we have to live like JP does and figure out how we can scrounge up any... This basically causes a mass panic where no one knows what's going to happen anymore. Yes, this this 100% it's opening a Pandora's box. If this happens, hope I can... Hope is just left. Yes, hope is gone because <laughs> I don't know how you plan ahead if they can just do this. If they can just be like, actually, this is a unit that releases on both versions and they're happening at the same time. And you're going like, wait, what the fuck? The, so how am I supposed to prepare for any of this? Like the, on the NA side, it's extremely tough because whatever unit they introduce early, it will always be with the idea of like, well, what if they work with a unit that's on JP that's not released in NA yet? Does that mean I then have to kind of just switch around? It's very different. It's a very different economy over here on NA compared to JP, where JP can save, but they're not really saving for anything. They're saving because they're going, oh, you know, I could save. And then they can choose a summon or not, and then they're like, ah, damn, I guess I should have saved, because there was something bigger coming on the horizon. On NA, we know everything that's coming on the horizon. So anything that kind of disrupts that plan even just a little bit is enough to make us go, oh, okay, like, that's crazy. Like, when they released Arjuna Altar early, I remember going, that's insane. That's going to catch a lot of people off guard. And so if you introduce something like this, where it's just like, no, nah, this is a completely new unit that's being released at the same time as JP... Then you enter a thing of like, oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Now that's on the losing side. Here's the other losing side. They show us a unit that we don't get for two years. Yeah. That, that, that's just sucks. That, that just it's just sucks. a blue ball. That's just blue balls. So then what happens when it comes time for us to go to Anime Expo and Albert has to go up there and be like, hey guys... <laughs> you no spoilers. It's, no you, spoilers. You showed it to us two years ago. There's a lot of things to worry about because <laughs> not they're not only showing banners at the Fez. They're showing stories. They always talk about the story. What's oh, been happening? Yeah. They're gonna talk about Paper Moon. They're gonna talk about Newton McCall. And yeah, all, all the things that yeah. You typically, if you've never seen one of these fest uh, festival things, first of all, they're long. They're long, super crazy. Orchestras, long. orchestras go on. There's like trivia games, and then like the last thirty minutes is game news. <laughs> they have show plays. They do. They have the VAs come in here. Everyone's favorite, um, our crypto bro, is going to be showing up there in his VA. Yeah, Kenji Akabara, who plays um, Miami. Uh, yes, who plays him. He'll be there, and, you know, it, it would be actually cool to know what the hell goes on in those festivals, because I'm always like, well, it looks like they're having fun. Yeah, we've never gotten it translated, but if it's like a translation like we got for the anniversary this year, yeah, I'm not sure, sure I'll be down, but it's going to be live from Japan, so we'll see. Yeah, so we'll see on that. So, <laughs> if it's not any of that, and it's just them going like, hey, do you want to check out the JP version? And just be like, here, and then there's nothing else. Like, there's so many mysterious things that go around this that it could either be like a huge shit show. What or if it it's be... like they're releasing JP for Go for NA? Like they did for Dokkan JP. Do you remember that? No, wait, what? Do you know that uh, you can get do the Japanese version of Dokkan on the oh, American side? Oh, that's right. That's right. Oh, that would be that would be amazing. It would be like the ultimate blow to Cool Up. Yeah. Because <laughs> if you don't remember, Cool Up lost Vago after they very stupidly let unlimited downloads of the Bash game 
go the like... mash dance game where we didn't even get it last year. No, they were just they were like only 500 people will be able to go, and then Co-op said like, "Hey, you want just unlimited access? We got your back, baby." And then they sent like a cease and desist, and they're like, "Okay, okay, we'll stop, we'll stop." And then they're like, "No, get everything off of your store. Get everything off." And they're just like, "Okay, okay, okay, okay." Can we have it back though? And then the answer has always been no, and that's why Fugo is still not on Co-op. Yep. And that's why it's been a pain in the ass to actually do anything related to the JP version of the game. Because uh, they don't have... Unless you have a Japanese uh, Google Play account, you can't actually do it that way. Yep. I think that would actually be kind of cool. Honestly, that's one of the better things that Dokkan has done in recent years. Is make it so that you can get the JP version of it on the on the NA America side, side yeah, yeah, America side or the global sides, whatever. Yeah, whatever you want to call it. I could definitely see them doing that. Um, the thing I can't see them doing, which is I saw a lot of speculation from people who, first of all, don't play really play for Go, where they're just like, it's a server merge. I don't think that happens. There is no possible way. No, they have made two years ahead of translations for this one day. Yeah, no way. No way in hell. No way. Zero percent chance that there's a server merge. There's so we're not even on the same version. No. They have more stuff than we do. Yes. And if they were gonna release all that stuff at the same time, do you imagine how long that maintenance is gonna be? They just got the sk the skill tree. Mm hmm I don't even know what half of that does yet. No, and I doubt that's ready for <laughs> our side either, to be honest. But yeah, I don't see a server merge ever happening. We're two years um we're two years behind. And also just in terms of version differences, there's just too many different ones for it to actually be feasible. Like they would have to give us so much stuff early and then also always keep us up to date, and I just don't see them doing that. Yeah. Ever. It would kind like, of be like a little rush that the Taiwanese version of the game does. Yeah, and even then, like the they had a rush, but they, even they're not caught up, are they? No, they're still going. See, exactly. I just don't see it happening. And to be honest, if they started like going crazy and being like, okay, let's rev it up, everyone's go crazy, let's go fast, I think that would be a detriment to the game. I think there was there would be no way in hell that they would release enough ports to justify it. Yep. As it is right now. <laughs> You, us having a two-year head start is the one thing that lets us actually use the pity. I think NA is different from JP in that JB can never use the pity unless they go crazy whale. And on ANA side, you could always say like, well, I got two years ahead. You should so. never wish to be two years ahead because we have it so great right now. Mm -hmm. There's no possible way you understand how a new chapter dropping and the anticipation of who is in that story and how much money am I going to spend. Yeah, it's dangerous. I know for a fact if NA had done it like on JP side, there's no amount of money I would have dropped for. Um, Duruga? Yeah, it would, it would have been crazy. Like if I actually think about all the units they released, I'm like, oh yeah, if this was a concurrent game, I'd be in a lot of trouble. But, or Medusa Saber. Yeah, th there's definitely a lot of games where I'm just like, ooh, I'm real glad I don't play right now. And I can just kind of <laughs> deal with there's it in the future. five different banners on that one event. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. So yeah, we'll see what happens. This is going to go up on the 29th. So, yeah, so 26. This comes up, yeah, we'll see. Hopefully this will probably have to go up before the... The month breakdown now that i think about it just so that there's no chance that nero fest releases on <laughs> before this comes out yeah before this comes out in which case this all sounds like crazy and i'm in vegas and i'm just like i can't reply to any of these people <laughs> i can't tell them like this was recorded beforehand unless i specifically just release it beforehand and say this was recorded beforehand and i'm in vegas peace out but yeah, tell me what you think about this. I'll gladly read it. I won't be able to reply back, but tell me what your speculation of it all is. We'll, I will gladly and see who, it. who do you think the servant would be if we were to get the same servant? Yeah, who could it possibly... It can't be who everyone thinks it is, which is actually the spoiler who I won't say who it is. But yeah, it's kind of... Is it going to be a crypto bro? Could knows? be. Could mm, Maybe. Could it be the thing that everyone has been waiting for, which is saying, hey, what about Zeus? Could it be Zeus? That'd be hilarious. That'd be the one thing you could show on NA and say, like, here's Zeus, and then we go, like, wait, we don't get him for another two years? That'd be funny. Zeus is the weirdest one to me. 
Yeah, it, it seemed, uh, based on the story, I don't feel like, oh, I'm bummed that we can't get Zeus, because it really does feel like, it kind of feels like it'd be impossible to get Zeus. There's a lot of things that happen in that story that makes Zeus not that possible. Yeah, not really feasible. To make it go like, okay, I can see why we can't he get He is him. a bit different to the actual Zeus we know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think the, the going the round theory is that they would, uh... They would release a cryptor who's in the body of Zeus, who's using Zeus as a body or something like that. Who's using, uh, who, who Zeus is puppeting. Yeah, I think that Kinda was Kind of like idea. A Rasputin. Yes, a little bit like that. Like, I could see something like that. But, who, you know, who actually knows? It's very hard to tell with a go what direction they're going to go. And I can't really imagine a unit that tops Ark, but I'm sure that they will think of something. There's more people from... The grander fate uh, universe, and not fate, but uh... Sukehime. There's a lot of people from Sukehime. They haven't touched the, the maid. Shiki is there. She, we ha oh, yeah, we haven't right. gotten the man yet. Male Shiki. I was about to say we have Shiki, and then I realized you, know, you mean the other Shiki. I'm talking about the other Shiki. We can have Neko Arc. <laughs> if it's a Neko Arc, you know how much panic there's gonna be. Panic in the streets. There's gonna be a lot of people mad. There's gonna be a lot of people happy. There's a lot of memes. A lot of good memes, bad memes. Bad memes. A lot of people pointing up a skill issue and then like a uh, Neko Arc smoking a fat blunt. People have been doing that for years. <laughs> they have. Just imagine in one concentrated effort. It's hard to imagine because all the units that I would think of like, oh yeah, I would really like it if they released it. Here's the other thing. Wouldn't it also be funny if it was like a, um, <laughs> you know how people were saying like, I can't believe Fago did a crossover with itself. Fago and a crossover. So, what could be the one unit that represents Fago and a? I know you were thinking. It's Marie, because Marie's the only person to ever get <laughs> merch. <laughs> we got the homie shirt based we, off of Marie. We did and, get the homie shirt. And this is the way we get Marie Alter <laughs> is that they do a Fago and a crossover. <laughs> we get Marie Antoinette Alter. Wow. Yeah. There's a lot of untapped NPC servants that they can definitely do for fun. Yeah, it could things. just be a bunch of bronze servants for all I care. I'll it's be true. happy. Maxwell's demon. They can finally release the demon. They could release uh, the, the 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 Beyond uh, Dweller with the HP Lovecraft. Oh yeah, that's right. I, I know who you're talking about. We could Cha Cha's dead. They can do Cha Cha's dead. They can do the real Nobunaga. Oh, that's right, real Nobunaga. <laughs> Bronze servant, real Nobunaga. <laughs> Nobunaga, real in parentheses. Yeah. Plenty of things that they can do, but feel free to tell us what you think. And I think that's the end of this video. Yep. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Say goodbye, boy. See ya. Bye.